some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in New Hampshire with the frauditor known as Mark Manchin, a.k.a. Press NH Now. And by this point, he has been pulled over by a police officer, and he is caught throwing a cigarette butt out the window, which is littering in the state of New Hampshire. Well, the police officer says he's going to let him off with a warning, but then he decides to throw one out the window while the officer is watching and ends up getting a citation, and then he decides to throw another one out. And this is one of my least favorite frauditors to watch. I mean, he is worse than Glenn Serio, as far as I'm concerned. His attitude problem, just unreasonable. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm not throwing a cigarette out the window. I just, no, I'm not. Okay. You know who I am. You just said my name. All right, so you license. don't need my license, sir. I do. No, you don't. I do. Call a supervisor. License Call right. a fucking supervisor. Why are you? Here's my evidence, dude. Are you Excuse me. No, excuse you nothing, window. dude. Here's my evidence right here. I not my fucking side. Okay. I'm driving, right? Alrighty. Ask her for her fucking ID then. Alright, give me your license, please. Ask her for hers. License, I didn't let her. Here you go. Here's my evidence. Nope. Call the supervisor. You you know I know you know what I'm doing. Ah, press NH now. A face that only a mother can love, and that's questionable at the very least. Not only does he have a, well, rather punchable face, but he has a gigantic chip on his shoulder. Oh, I tell you something. That little attitude you've got right there, if you ever walk up onto the wrong person, I am sure that one day you're going to get the Smackdown of the century, mostly because of your smart mouth and your rather piss-poor attitude. And I would love to see it happen one day. Here you go. Here's my evidence. You Where's your camera? It's right here. There you go. Oh, no, me. Here you go, camera. There's my cigarette. No probable cause. Nice. Nope. Sorry, right, anytime. Man. Call a supervisor. I'm requesting a supervisor. I'm responsible for everybody in the vehicle. How the f How am I responsible for anybody in this vehicle but myself? Huh? So I spoke with my supervisor. He's about 40 minutes away. He's in Cheshire. You can come up if you'd like. Dude, I want to go home. Okay. All righty. Um, What's your name and badge number? Trooper La Placa. La Placa, dude. Oh. Wow, La Placa. You should know better than this, dude. So listen. Come on, Don't dude. Don't throw cigarettes out the window, okay? Dude, both of mine are Who? right here. Both Hold on. My cigarettes Who? are right here. Okay. Me? There's responsibility in everything, including being a driver. You are responsible for the people that drink in your car. You are responsible for the children that are not in their car seats. If that's too heavy of a burden for you, you need to uh, pound some pavement. Or use public transportation. That way you won't have to be burdened with the responsibilities. And that will be one less person driving around on the streets who has no sense of responsibility. So don't throw cigarettes out. So you, I got the video. You can request it. You do that anyway. So just request the video. You'll see it. Hold on. Let me, let me get this straight. So you're detaining me knowing that I put my cigarette out right here in front of you at the window... Mm -hmm. And that's what you pulled me over for. You detained so me, the driver. Over, okay? And you are responsible for the actions. No, so, so no, let's I'm not. Put it this way. You're, you're you telling me I'm the... the back seat of the car. He was not buckled, right? That's okay. my fault. He's not it buckled. Is. It is. No, it's not, fault. dude. It no, it's not. Okay, well, you need to look up the law a little bit. I will. What is it? Um, you're all set to go. I'm not going to charge you <laughs> disobeying. <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> I know you're not. Well, because you have no probable cause, dude. Because if I didn't identify myself under legalities, I'd be yourself. under I'd be under arrest. I'd be under arrest, okay. and you'd be pulling your Drive, cuffs out. Driving is a privilege. Uh, okay. No, it's not. It it's a it's so a right. When we, when we do no, it's a car, right. Yeah, you do have to give licenses or But I it seems like you've got a bit of a sovereign influence right there. Not in addition to your smart mouth, because if you would have actually looked up the laws, you would have found this. Because driving 
is a privilege, not a right. Traveling is a right. Go ahead and get your driver's license revoked or suspended, and let's see how fast you find out that it's a privilege. Did I, LaPlaca? Didn't I? Uh, did I give you my ID? Did I give you my ID, LaPlaca? Why? Because I know you. Because you know me? Yeah. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Really? Bullshit. Mm -hmm. No, you know I know my shit, and you had no right to legally detain me. Okay. That's why. Alrighty. All right. Um, so just keep the cigarettes in the vehicle. No. They're right here. Yeah. Both so of them are so right here. let me ask you, if I throw this out right now, what are you going to do? Uh, write you a ticket. There you go. Write me a ticket. All right. License registration, man. I want the ticket now. Yeah, you showed him, didn't you? You showed him that you were in control. You showed him by, well, deliberately getting yourself a ticket. Man, you're such a dumbass. I mean, the dude was just going to let you go and you decide to pull this BS. This is not you being in control of the situation. This is just you, well, being a complete jackass. Now I gave you a reason la placa perfect there you go so you, you want to pick it up man nope all right hey this will make more money than your can ticket asshole. there's your reason so you're aware you've already been here before 37 issues Alrighty. there's a ticket for littering you want to pick it up awesome how much is it today excuse me 62 dollars awesome uh, i'll pay it in pennies in newport okay cool do you have any questions regarding that yeah uh what if i throw this one out you're gonna give me another one i'm not gonna play the game online man oh i will Okay. I will. What are you going to do? What if I throw the cigarette out of the placa? I'll just write another ticket. There you go. Alrighty. I'll do this whole... I'll do this whole... F night, La Placa. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. What are you doing with them? Are you littering too? Are you littering too, La Placa? You know, I got to wonder. What event in his past gave him such a gigantic chip on his shoulder that he thinks he has to act like this toward everyone he encounters? I mean, it is truly a sad way to go about life, acting like this toward everybody that you encounter. I mean, you must have no friends outside of the fraudulent community. There's another one. Gonna play this game all night? Okay, we'll see about that. Uh, let's see. Is your, uh, is your uh, current address? I'm not gonna answer any okay. questions like that. So I'm gonna be sending one through the mail, okay? That's it? Yes, sir. Why? Because. Are you sure? I don't think you're gonna. No, you're Alrighty. not. You know it is. Can we do so it again? You're getting two tickets. Can we do it again? Um, so it's gonna Let's be $62 do it again. as well. Let's do it again. If we Come do it again, this, I'm gonna just add it to the second littering. Litter. Have a good night. All right, I'm gonna go litter another one. Bye, La Placa. Happy holidays, buddy. You as well. Be safe. Thanks for the community service of uh, picking up the littering. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. <coughs> he didn't want to pick up any more cigarettes. You know, the more I watch this guy, the more I think that uh, he's just nothing more than a sad little boy. For some reason, he's just got a huge chip on his shoulder. Something happened to him a long time ago, and he prefers to take that anger out on everybody else rather than work through the problem. I've known a few people like this in my personal life, and well, let me tell you something. They have no friends at all, nobody to hang out with, nobody to... I mean, a truly, truly sad state indeed. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching, so I'll see you next time.